jackets, selling jackets on eBay is profitable. You just have to make sure you have the right brand and the market isn't saturated. Now, if you can source the North Face jackets at a really good price, they will sell if you have the right jacket. <clears throat> Pretty much like fleece jackets, unless you can buy them dirt cheap or get them donated to you, you're really not going to make any money. But the higher end ski jackets, they're pretty good to sell on eBay, uh, depending on the season. It's starting to get into uh, the spring, so I would kind of say you have to really beware if you're going to be sourcing jackets. But right now might be a very good time to get jackets because a lot of thrifts will start running sales to get rid of their winter clothing, making way for the spring and summer stock. So here's the first one that I sold. It's a... Um, a North Face ski jacket, and it's a medium. It's Gore-Tex, so it's it's pretty uh, strong material. I got this for about twelve dollars and sold it for sixty-four dollars plus the expedited shipping. Next one is a social distortion jacket. This jacket was on sale for six dollars and ninety-nine cents. As I said in one of my other videos, I have no idea who does the pricing. This jacket was. $6.99 and on the rack across the way they had Under Armour polos for $12, $13. So it makes no sense. But you know what? If the pricer is going to make a mistake, I'm going to take advantage of it. So went ahead and bought this Social D jacket. It's got a really cool design in the back with Social Distortion. So that uh, sold within 48 hours. Here's a vintage jacket by Orvis. Orvis is another one of those brands where Maybe three or four years ago, anything Orvis would sell. Now there's so much of it on eBay, just like Tommy Bahama. You can you can get an Orvis shirt for four or five dollars, uh, just like you can get a Tommy Bahama silk shirt for four or five dollars anywhere. Uh, this is a really cool. This is unique. This is like you know, um, if you watch that show on Nickelodeon, Thornberry, the Wild Thornberries, this is what the father would wear when he was going out in safari. So um, this has uh, got a lot of detail. I believe it was made in the 80s and 90s. So this was, uh, it was very nice to pick this up. Here's one that uh, I sat on for a while. This is a uh, wool jacket. And the design is a lumberjack style. And I thought when I picked this jacket up for $15, I'd really be able to sell it for a lot more. Uh, but it's getting towards the end of the season, and I wanted to move it. That's why I took uh, $39 for it. And the last thing is don't pass up on some leather jackets. A lot of thrift stores will have a rack full of leather jackets. And sometimes people that are selling on eBay might not take a look at the leather jackets. Go into the thrift store and go buy and take, check out the leather jackets. You you're, never know what you're going to find. You, you might find a really good brand in there. Um, you might find a Harley Davidson leather jacket because no one – sometimes they let the jacket sit there for a while. They don't check the leather jackets because a lot of them are like, you know, Georgetown jackets or Bridges of Great Outdoors or Banana Republic, Diamond Dozen. Every once in a while, you're going to find a really good black leather jacket. So don't be afraid of taking a look at that rack. Those are the last five jackets that sold for me. I do appreciate you watching the video.